friends in this video we would be performing the marsh test which is used to detect the presence of arsenic in a given compound warning this test uses arsenic compounds which are highly toxic always use the right personal protective equipment and do it in a well ventilated area if your lab is in a closed space always do it under fu mode this video is shot outside and very minimal amount of arsenic compounds were used the byproducts were all converted to insoluble sulfide form and was disposed to a nearby biohazard waste collection center. The Marsh test is a highly sensitive test to detect the presence of arsenic discovered by the British chemist James Marsh. Arsenic poisoning was a pretty common method of homicide earlier since the common compound arsenic trioxide is a colorless, odorless and tasteless compound. Clinically the poisoning patient manifests as cholera-like illness and if one do not suspect arsenic poisoning, it is treated as a case of cholera. Here the compound will react with zinc and sulfuric acid to form the gas arsine which get thermally decomposed to give the elemental arsenic which is deposited as a mirror on the cold surface held against the burning gas. The materials required are a very little amount of arsenic trioxide, zinc metal and dilute sulfuric acid. Let us go into the procedure. We take a very minimal amount. Here I am only using 0.05 grams of arsenic trioxide. Arsenic trioxide or any other arsenic compounds are highly poisonous. Try to use as minimum quantity as possible and avoid direct contact. Also. Don't throw away any of the waste materials into the environment as it is highly hazardous. Now into the arsenic we add a small piece of zinc metal. Here I have taken a piece of rubber tubing which is fixed onto a bent tube and a cork and on the other side of the tubing you can see a pointed glassware which is actually a dropper. Now we add 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid into the beaker and you can see that zinc and sulfuric acid has started to react giving nascent hydrogen. We close the lid with the tubing setup and wait for the reaction to proceed. Now we light the end of the tube. You can see that the arsine gas has started to burn and when you place a cord surface like a porcelain plate near to the burning end of the tube the elemental arsenic is being deposited on the porcelain surface as that dark color. This test is very sensitive and even very minute amount of arsenic can be detected by this test. That is why this test is used in forensic analysis for detecting the presence of arsenic poisoning from the stomach contents of the suspected dead person. The chemical reaction goes like this. Arsenic trioxide reacts with zinc and H plus ions to form the arsine gas. Initially in acidic medium AH3- is formed which is protonated to form the arsine gas. Later the arsine is decomposed thermally to give hydrogen gas and elemental arsenic. Arsine is highly poisonous. Avoid inhalation of the vapors. Use the respiratory mask and protective gears. To put out the flame, just use a moist tissue paper or a damp cloth. Now, antimony also gives a false positive marsh test. So, to differentiate between that, we add a little amount of the sodium hypochlorite solution into the porcelain dish containing the elemental arsenic. If it was antimony, it would not have dissolved. Arsenic metal dissolves in hypochlorite, giving arsenous acid, H3ASO4. But antimony will not dissolve in it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the content of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will not miss my new future videos.